Hey, welcome back culinary students. Hope you're doing well. Um, it's a beautiful day. We've had a little bit of snow, so um, I just wanted to uh, say that uh, you're all doing a great job. I'm very proud of you. Uh, culinary arts uh, isn't easy, but uh, together we'll make our way through. So uh, today we're going to uh, do a review, um, cooking and nutrition. Once again, we're, we're looking at uh, nutrition as a way to feed our body, feed our minds uh, healthy, nutritious food. And when you're eating a nutritious, well-balanced diet, you're providing your body with essential nutrients that it needs in order to function properly okay and with that let's do a review of what we've done so far um, we've discussed what is a healthy diet okay uh, a healthy diet is eating healthy right <laughs> eating healthy uh, putting good nutritious food uh, plant-based food into our bodies each and every day all right and that and that is and that is the most important goal each and every day all right so we have three important meals that we consume each day breakfast lunch and dinner and sometimes we have the in between the meals because our body is craving something um, Something looks good. I have to have it. Um, so let's move on. Uh, let's look at breakfast. Now, breakfast is a meal in which you break it down. It's called break fast. Okay. You're breaking your fast from the period of time when your body is sleeping and the time your body reawakens to start a new day. So breakfast is what's called the refueling stage for your body. Okay. Um, most importantly, you want to make sure that you fuel your body up so it has sustained calories that can provide you with and be long lasting throughout the course of your day. Your body needs energy. That's what we're saying here. Your body needs energy in order for it to function, for you, for you to be able to move, to exercise, to go out and play and have activity, all right? You need energy. And where is that energy coming from? It's the food that you eat, okay? So <clears throat> what, new, what food are we putting in? Well, we discuss the major food groups okay you have your breads cereals pastas whole grains then you have your fruits your vegetables okay. and then you have your starches okay potatoes rice okay legumes beans Right, very, very important staple in a lot of our diets are potatoes and rice. Okay, so that's going to provide you with your carbohydrates. What about your vitamins, your minerals? Okay, and then you another major food group is that you have your fish, you have your meat, you have your poultry. Okay, that's going to be your high protein based foods and then you have your fats and the fats are at the top of the scale because we want to limit the amount of fat that we take into our bodies okay the fats are important but we don't need too much of the fat well what kind of fats are you talking about uh, your 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 butter okay your oils and don't forget another major food group is dairy your milk your cheese your eggs okay another important food group 
All right, so that concludes your five major uh, food groups. Very, very important. So next, uh, how can you use the dietary guidelines? So the dietary guidelines um, have been established by the U.S. Department of Agriculture looking at uh, what a person should be consuming for a healthy, well-balanced diet. So our government has an agency that looks at the food that we're consuming each and every day and sets aside the recommended dietary allowances, recommended daily allowances as well. So we use those guidelines as a guide. Okay, essentially, all right, we're going to plan a very um, well-balanced, nutritious diet. So we need, we need a guideline. Okay, what does that look like? All right, so many of you who are consuming food, which is, of course, all of us, and we want to make sure that um, you're eating a well-balanced diet. Yeah, you know, you're going to have uh, your snacks, you're going to have your sugars, um, something that tastes sweet, uh, you want your dessert. Sure, that, that's, that's everybody, okay? Uh, I don't know of anyone on this planet that doesn't want to have like a little bit of a sweet, okay? We all have, we all have a sweet tooth, right? Okay, very good. So, recommended dietary allowances, Okay, looking at that, planning a menu. Next, what is my pyramid? Okay, what is a pyramid? Well, um, U.S. Department of Agriculture um, has set forth a guideline for you to follow. The pyramid is based on the most important food groups. Okay, so I, what I want you to do is to look up my pyramid and my plate. Okay, I want you to do a little research. What is it? What is it telling me? Um, how do I plan? Okay, so um, I want to take you through also um, the nutrition label. All right, so I want you just uh, in your homes, I want you to just start looking at labels that are on canned foods, processed food packages, your cereals, anything that has a food label on it. I would like you to begin taking a look at that. Very, very important because that's going to be used as a guide for you and to look at, well, what is in this product that I'm going to consume? And is it going to be good for me? Okay, what are the benefits of eating a specific food that I am purchasing? Very, very important. Is it good for me? Will it give me benefits? That's what we want to just take a look at. Okay, so um, last last evening um, I made dinner, of course, which I do almost every single night. But I wanted to show you what planning and what goes into uh, making dinner, and um, what are the important considerations of the food that I am preparing for my family. Okay, my my wife and my daughter. So I want you to just take a look at what I put together for last evening. Okay, now, as you can see, um, on the bottom of the plate, getting back to my plate, which you're going to be researching and looking up, uh, I made a, uh, a chicken dish, and what I did was I added, okay, uh, vegetables. I sauteed uh, onions and peppers and garlic and mushrooms, okay, looking at nutrition, uh, what are the nutritious based foods that I'm looking at. Um, over here is what's called um, an Israeli uh, couscous, which is a pasta, which is a whole grain. Um, once again, our starches, okay, starch, it could have been rice, it could have been potato, okay, planting. What am I going to put on this plate? Okay, and then of course, my, my stream beans. 
my green beans, my steamed green beans, uh, with a little bit of touch of uh, butter and salt and pepper. So here you have uh, a plate of highly nutritious, good for you food. Okay, not one thing on this plate dominates, but sometimes that's up to you what you want your meal to be. But once again, thinking about highly nutritious food that is good tasting and it's good for you. Okay, so there you have it, folks, planning. So what I want each and every one of you to do over the vacation, let me just put this down and bring this up. Hello there. All right, welcome back. All right. So what I want you to do is to have some fun over the vacation. And I want you to look online, uh, if you can. Uh, I want you to look through recipe books. And what I want you to do over the vacation, okay, something fun, uh, something that you're engaged in, I want you to put together a menu. Okay, what am I going to serve to my family that's highly nutritious and it's good for you? Okay, so with that, I want you to all have a wonderful vacation. Um, it is Career Technical Education Month. I want you to think about a career that you're interested in because you are in high school, so you should be thinking about what is it that I want to do when I graduate. And also, most importantly, along with that, we have Black History Month. Okay, which we look at uh, the contributions of African Americans in our country, in the United States of America, and their contributions, and want to make sure that uh, looking at uh, Black Lives Matter, okay, which is an organization that uh, looks at uh, the advancement of African Americans in our society. So, really take the time to think about that. And also, the third thing that we're going to look at is it's President's, it's going to be President's Week, okay? Honoring our founding fathers, okay? Uh, that's uh, George Washington, okay? President Lincoln, okay? So just take some time, relax, have a good time, get out, get some exercise. Okay, we did discuss that as well. Get some exercise. All right? Don't sit around. Don't lay around. Move your bodies. Okay, and with that, have a wonderful vacation. Take care. All the best to you and your families. And if you should have any questions, please write to me over the vacation. Bye.